Hello everyone. Welcome to Amasapti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to deploy a self-signed certificate to Windows device with Microsoft Intune. In a situation where you are using a self-signed certificate, you will need to install the certificate into the trusted root certification authority's store. So the device can trust the certificate to establish the secure connection with the remote device using the self-signed certificate without any warning. In this video, we will be using trusted certificate template with the device configuration profile to deploy our self-signed certificate. The certificate will be added in trusted root certification authorities store. Let me explain the lab setup which we are going to use in this video. We have set up local web server with internet information service on this Windows 11 device. We have configured internet information services to use a self-signed certificate for SSL connection. Let me show you that by accessing the website on our other Windows 10 device. Open Microsoft Edge web browser. Type in URL https colon double slash labwin11 hyphen cli03. Let's press enter key. As we can see, we are getting error about connection is not secure due to self-signed certificate. So to fix this error, we want to deploy self-signed certificate to trusted root certificate store using Intune. We will need to export the self-signed certificate as a drencoded.cer file. Already I have exported the self-signed certificate into .cer file. Sign into Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on devices. Under policy, click on configuration profiles. Click on create profile plus icon. Select Windows 10 and later as a platform type. Click on drop down arrow and select templates profile type. Scroll down and click on trusted certificate. Now click on create. On the basic step, enter a descriptive name for the profile so we can easily identify them later. We have given a name, taste deploy self sign certificate. We have also added the description. Description is optional but recommended. Click on next. In configuration settings, Specify the .cer file for the self signed certificate we previously exported. Click on Browse to select the .cer file. Select the certificate file and click on Open. Click on drop down to select the destination store for the trusted certificate. Computer certificate store root is already selected. We will go with the default option. Click on next. In scope tags, assign a tag to filter the profile to specific groups. In this video, we will go with the default scope tag. Click next to continue. In the assignments page, select the Azure AD group on which you want to apply the policy. Click on add groups. For testing purpose, we have created one test device group named test win client. So from the list, select Taste to Win Client Group. Click on Select. We have selected Azure Ready Group named Taste to Win Client and our Taste to Windows 10 device is member of this group. Click on Next. On the Applicability Rules page, click on Next. In the Review plus Create page, review the settings which you have configured. When ready, click on Create. Wait for the confirmation message. We can see the confirmation message, profile created successfully. 
click on refresh to see the updated profile list. This is the profile which we have just created. We have created trusted root profile for the fleet form Windows 10 and later but in the Intune portal it displays as profile for the platform Windows 8.1 and later. This is a known issue with the presentation of the platform for trusted certificate profiles. While the profile displays a platform of Windows 8.1 and later, but it is also functional for Windows 10 and 11. So the configuration part is done. Now it's time to test the result. Let's go back to our Windows 10 device. Let me close Microsoft Edge web browser. And first of all, let's initiate the manual sync with Intune. Click on sync and wait for the sync process to finish. Okay, last sync was successful. To see the result quickly, I'm going to restart this Windows 10 device. Let's double click on restart shortcut icon. After restart, let's again sign into this Windows 10 device. Open Microsoft Edge web browser. Type URL https colon double slash labwin11 hyphen cli03. Press enter key to access the local website. And this time, there will be no error related to certificate as the self-signed certificate is successfully added to the trusted root certificate store. So now the self-signed certificate is fully trusted by this Windows 10 device. We can also confirm the same thing from certificate store. Open run menu, type MMC and press enter key. Click on yes. Click on file and select add remove snap in. Select certificate from the list and click on add. Select computer account and click on next. Click on finish. Click OK. Expand certificates for local computer. Expand trusted root certification authorities. Click on certificates. Here we can see the self-signed certificate for labwin11-cli03. So we can confirm that the self-signed certificate is successfully deployed to Windows 10 using Intune. So that's all for this video on how to deploy a self-signed certificate to Windows device with Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.